Alright guys, welcome to today's lesson in statics. Today we're covering problem number 149 from chapter 3. So number 149 says, A 6 foot long fishing rod, AB, is securely anchored in the sand of a beach. After a fish takes the bait, the resulting force in the line is 6 pounds. Determine the moment about A of the force exerted by the line at B. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and drawn a free diagram. We have our fishing rod from point A to point B. And we have the line caught with the tension in it from point B to C. So let's go ahead and write out our moment formula. We know the moment about point A will be equal to the cross product of the position vector from point A to point B, and then cross with the force, the tension in the line from B to C. So we have our position vector going from point A to point B. And we'll draw that on here now. So we have position vector R. A, B, and we have that crossed with the force of the tension in the line at B to C. Now we have the six pound force. We need to go ahead and figure out the position vector here in its component form. As we're given the length, we need the component form. The, this is in the K direction, in the Z axis and the h direction in the j and the j hat axis and then we need to determine the tension going from b to c so let's determine the position vector going from point a to point b we have a dimension here from a to d and we have a dimension here going from d up to b now if you notice this is a 45 degree angle which tells us since we have a perpendicular angle here 90 here this is a 45, 90, so this must be a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which means this dimension across from the 45 degrees H is the exact same as this dimension across from this 45 degree angle up here. Oops. So let's write in the, the symbol for the length, the height of the triangle, H. So to, to determine the position back, we go ahead and write out this formula. We have no movement, if we notice in the diagram, in the along the x-axis in the i-hat direction there is no change from a to b so it would be zero in the i-hat direction now in the j-hat and the y-axis we're going up this distance from b to d so we can call this plus h or call it b to d plus b to d in the j-hat direction and then notice we're going into the page along the negative z-axis here's positive z we're going to the negative z-axis so we subtract this dimension, which is beginner h, in the k-hat direction. Now to determine h, this value, there are two methods. We could either use the fact that this is a diagonal of a square. This triangle is half of a diagonal, is half of a square. And we could simply say 6 divided by the square root of 2 equals h. Or we could work out the trig way using what we're given, and we can do sine of 45 equals h over 6. So we'll do this method, sine of 45 degrees equals the height value, distance, h, over 6. We multiply both sides by 6. We find out h equals 6 times the sine of 45 degrees. And we'll do that in our calculator now. So we go to our calculator. We have 6 times the sine of 45 we get 4.243. So we know h is equal to 4.243. We can substitute this value into here in the j hat and k hat components. And we have our position vector going from a to b. r from a to b position is equal to 0 i hat plus 4.243 j hat minus 4.243 k hat. Good. So we have our position vector going from A to B already. Now we determine the tension vector going from B to C. So I'll write out the tension formula. The tension vector formula from B to C is equal to the magnitude we're given of 6 pounds, the tension of the line, times the position vector going from B to C, over the distance, magnitude of position, distance from B to C. 
Now, to determine the position vector going from B to C, we'll have to do a little bit of trigonometry. I'm now going to draw another diagram showing the view of the problem from above, looking down, straight down the y-axis. So I'll draw, looking at the problem, I'll draw the z-axis here and the x-axis here. So we have our force coming out a distance of, we're told, 6 feet perpendicular up at a 45 degree angle. In the top, we would simply see this as the force vector, or the position vector, I should say, going from A to R from A to B. Now, looking at the tension force from above, we have this 30 degree angle where it's coming off at an angle. So we have this angle here of 30 degrees. And now, this will be our tension vector. We'll draw this about to here. This is our tension vector going from B to C. We have an X component perpendicular to the Z axis. This would be our tension BC in the X direction. And here we have a tension along the Z axis. This would be our tension B to C in the Z axis direction. These components are perpendicular and they create this horizontal line which is seen dashed along the water here. So we can picture the z-axis component along this line on the z-axis and the x-axis parallel to the x-axis coming out here. Okay, so this dimension from our diagram up above is L, and so we can now write out our position vector going from B to C in terms of L. So we'd have position vector going from B to C and it would be equal to L times the sine of 30. You have L dimension multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees in the I hat component. Notice this because the tension vector is going parallel to the x-axis along this 30 degree component. We then have our J hat component, which is coming down a distance of H from point B to point C level at sea, at sea level, we're going down a distance of h. So it would be minus h in the j hat direction. And then finally in the k hat, we would have l going into the page. This component is going into the, along the negative z axis. Here's positive z, positive x. We have this tension vector going along the negative z axis. So it would be minus tension in b to c. We're doing position vector minus l times the cosine of 30 degrees in the k-hat direction. Okay, so to find L, we're going to have to do a little bit of trigonometry. To find L, we simply look at our diagram, our first diagram above. We have this 8 degree uh, angle. We have this dimension L, this dimension H for this triangle. This will be opposite, this will be adjacent. So we can use our tangent function and say the tangent of the angle 8 degrees is equal to H dimension over L dimension. So it's equal to H over L. We have a value for h, so we can solve for l. Multiply both sides by l. It'll cancel here, and then divide both sides by the tangent of 8 degrees. So we have our l value, this tells us l is equal to h over the tangent of 8 degrees. We know h is equal to the value of 4.243. L equals that divided by a tangent of 8 degrees. So we'll go to our calculator now, and we'll simply divide this answer by tangent of 8 degrees. And that tells us L, the value for L, is equal to 30.1, round up to 30.2, or mentioned in L. Okay, so we can go ahead and fill some of these values in. We have L equal to 30.2, H equals 4.243 here and here.
All right. So now we have value L. We can go ahead and determine our position vector R from B to C. That's equal to 30.2 times sine of 30. And the i-hat direction. Minus h, we know is 4.243 in the j-hat direction. And then minus l, again, is 30.2 times cosine of 30 on the z-axis in the k-hat direction. So we can compute this. We can find our position vector going from r, b to c. So if we multiply our 30.2 number, say 30.2, just round it, times sine of 30, and we get 15.1 i hat minus 4.243 j hat minus now 30.2 times the cosine of 30. And that gives us a value of 26.15 around the 0.2 k hat. All right, so we have position vector r from b to c. We now simply need the, the distance from b to c. The distance from b to c in the diagram is labeled as s. We can use Pythagorean theorem with these two values to determine what the hypotenuse of this triangle or the length of the fishing line going from point B to point C. So we find our distance going from point B to C. It would simply be the square root of these components for the position vector added up together and then square rooted. So it would be 15.1 squared plus, in front of the C is negative 4.24 3 squared minus 26.2 in parentheses squared plus this plus a negative squared in parentheses. So if we take our values, we take 15.1 squared plus in parentheses negative 4.243 squared. Ah. Calculator needs to pick up the 4, negative 4.243 squared plus, in parentheses, negative 26.2 squared. Let's go back in and add the 0.2. So add this in, we'll get this number and we'll take the square root of this answer. The square root of this number tells us that the distance from the line point B to point C is simply equal to 30.5. So now we can go back and compute our tension vector from B to C we were originally trying to find. Okay, so our tension vector going from B to C in the fishing line, we said it was equal to the magnitude of the tension value given, which is 6 pounds, divided by the distance where we know is 30.5. The units for distance will cancel out position over, dis over this dis distance unit. So we don't need units. Multiplied by the position vector r from b to c, which we know is this value right here. So we have 15.1 minus 4.243 i hat, j hat respectively, minus 26.2 in the k hat direction. So we're going to divide 6 by 30.5 first. And then multiply this coefficient, essentially, we just got 
by each one of these values in the position vector. Okay, so I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to store this coefficient we just got as x, and just multiply x by each one of these numbers. So 15.1 times x gives us an i hat value of 2.9. 7 in the x-axis, i hat. Then we have our y component in the j hat direction. So we have negative 4.243 times our x stored coefficient here, which is this value right here, 6 over 30.5. And that gives us a j hat component of negative 0.8. 3 rounds up to a 5 j hat. And finally, we have negative 26.2 times our x coefficient. This gives us a value of negative 5.15 in the k hat direction. So we now have our tension vector from B to C. We have this, we have everything we need to compute the moment about A. So we're going to bring this in the frame. We're going to move this and find the moment about A. So the moment about A is equal to the cross product of position vector going from A to B. And that's crossed by tension vector going from B to C. So what this will turn into in order to solve will be a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So the first row will be the I hat, J hat, and K hat components. Then we'll have R, A, B going to the middle row. Then we'll have tension and B to C going to the bottom row. So for R, A to B, we have zero. We have a zero value right here for our position. Tension value, we have 2.97. In the J hat column, we have 4.243. From the RAB. So 4.243. We have negative 0 0.835 in the tension value in the bottom row, right here. In the k hat value, we have the negative 4.243 value. And finally, in the K hat, the last value, bottom row, we have negative 5.15. Now to evaluate this, we're going to have to copy down the first two columns for I hat and J hat again. We'll have to copy them down, write them again. So, we just simply copy that. We have I hat, go right here. And zero, and then 2.97. J hat column we have again. We have 4.243. And then we have finally the bottom row, negative 0.835. Now to evaluate this, we're going to multiply going down, right, doing down to the right diagonals, multiply and add these values. And then we'll come up and go up and to the right and subtract these values. So the first value I would have would be this right here. It would be i hat times these two. And we're adding, so we'll put a positive sign out front. So we have negative 5.15. Actually, just use the answer we have. We just use negative 5.15, which is fine, times 4.243. Okay, 4.243, and that gives us a value of negative 21.85 in the i hat direction. Going down to the right again, we're going to add so put a positive value here. We have negative 4.243 times 2.97, so we have 2.97 times negative 
4.243. Oops. Calculator's not picking that up. Let me go back and change this real quickly. Negative 4.243. That's fine. I didn't pick the negative sign. That's fine. We can include that as well. So it would be negative 12.6 in the j hat direction. In the k hat here, we have a 0. So plus 0. Now we're going to be subtracting going up and to the right. So minus, multiply these two terms. I believe we just did this. We just did 2.97 times. Yeah, 2.43 in the j hat direction. It had a negative sign inside, which is fine. This will have a positive, but we are subtracting. So we're negative, we're subtracting, and then multiplied by this 12.6 value. This is in the k hat direction. It's also different. And finally, we have this coefficient in the i hat. So we have negative 0.835 times negative 4.8. Two four three two four three. We are subtracting, so put negatives out front, and then negative times negative is positive, so minus three point five four in the i hat direction. And finally, we have this zero value minus in the j hat. So now we need to combine all of our like values. We have two i hat components here and here, and then we have a j hat and k hat singly. So we'll write this one last time. Our moment about point A is going to be equal to negative 21.85 and then minus 3.54 in the i-hat direction, which is going to be negative 25.39, which we can round up to 4, in the i-hat direction. And then our j-hat is minus 12.6 in j-hat, along the y-axis, and then minus 12.6 again in the k-hat direction. So here is our answer for problem 149, chapter 3 with the fishing rod. And of course we can't forget our units of foot-pounds, pound-feet. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in another Simple STEM Solution video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support this channel or have particular questions you want answered, be sure to check out my Patreon community via the link in the description below.